I'm Shane, and welcome again to Rockin' the Planet, the show that is dedicated to bring the magic of New Zealand music into your living rooms. This week, we have a show full of great original music. We have live music and interviews with Black Dog about their brand new CD, and we'll also be chatting to one of my favorite singers, the beautiful Suzanne Lynch, about her role as a musical director in the new Kiwi movie, Three Mile Limit. I'm looking forward to that. So, who's been rocking the planet this week? Well, Neil Young. He just doesn't seem to slow down. He's just finished recording a new album, but with a difference. This one has been recorded in a booth called a Voiceograph. Now, these booths were popular in the late 40s and early 50s. What you did was put your money in the slot, then sing or play, and it would cut your record or acetate of your performance. And this particular voiceograph is owned by Jack White of the White Stripes, and he is guesting on Neil's new album. The album's been titled A Letter Home, and is a collection of old songs that he feels changed his life. Meanwhile, he has just begun a solo tour, just him and his guitars, featuring songs like Gordon Lightfoot's If You Could Read My Mind and Bob Dylan's Blowing in the Wind. Well, good luck with the tour, Neil. And if you love live music, now, just a reminder, you can join us every Friday evening at the CT Club in Ohinirao Street, Remuera, where we have an open invite for you to cheer and dance along with our featured guest band while we film them live. And in action this week, we have one of New Zealand's top touring bands, the DeSotos. See you there, 7.30 p.m. Friday. And now to the blues. And let's meet David Cheatham, guitar player from Black Dog, our very special guest tonight. How are you, David? It's good, good to, to see, see you, Shane. Here, mate. I'm so pleased to have you on the show because you know I am a huge fan of your band. Oh, thank you, Shane. And uh, guess what? You're here. Yeah. I yeah. love the music you played the other night, and we're going to listen to some great music tonight. What I want to ask you is that there is a very healthy blues scene in this country, and uh, it seems to be on a like recycling. It's, it's coming back fast. And... Um, you are a huge part of this, your band, Black Dog, and uh, have you noticed a big resurgence in the demand for blues? Yes, I have, I think, and, and, and I think, uh, I think to be fair, the Auckland Blues Club's got a lot to do with that, and, um, yeah. but yes, there is a big resurgence in blues, it's, 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 a, it's, nice to, it's nice to see, too. And original blues, too, it's all Kiwi music that you play, you play just about 90% all original Yeah, material. pretty much, yeah, yeah. Um, how do you go about this, writing your own material, are you... Oh well, we'll just we just write. We'd we'd rather do our thing than than um, than covers. Just yeah, yeah. on the whole, you know, there are some covers that that we particularly do like to do. But uh, yeah, that's right. Now you've yeah. got a new album out called The River. That's right. Yeah. Now why is it called The River? Well, there's a, a song CD. on the river called The River of Dreams. Yeah, which uh, I love. Everybody here in the office loves it. Well, we're quite proud of it too, actually. Yeah, that's, that's um, but that's why it's called the river. Yeah. Okay. Well, I reckon we should just take a listen to that song. Here's the river by Black Dog. Oh, 
the river of dreams. Black Dog, the blues is still alive and well. Now Dave, how long has your band been together? Well, in its current incarnation since uh, mid-2011. Oh, so you've been together a couple of years now. Yeah. And all the guys are from Auckland. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were pretty well spread over Auckland. And, uh, Auckland. I mean, you really got, did you just fall together or did you audition or, I mean... No, I think we pretty much fell together. As, you just as, fell, it's funny yeah, how some yeah, bands just and, fit uh, together yeah. like that, like and, a and, 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 and I must say, we're, we're incredibly lucky to have, to have found each other, I think. It's, it can be quite difficult to get the right line. No, as that, you'd probably know. I say that to the guys in my band. Yeah, we're incredibly but, um, lucky to found each other. <laughs> Well, well, we say that too, but we mean it. Yeah. I'm only teasing you, Dan. <laughs> you know me, it doesn't go past me, mate. Oh, no. Um, no, no but anyway, the band is doing great things. Uh, I believe you're playing at the Riverhead Tavern quite often. That's right. So yeah. I'll leave it there. Yeah. I'm going to give a special date, but I know you play there a lot. And you're around Auckland. Everybody look out for Black Dog. And uh, thank you so much. And uh, we'll get back to another song right away. Thank you, Shane. Hi, Shane. Yeah, nice to meet you. Wonderful. Now, you've come a long way to pay the blues. You're all the way from the UK. You're born in England. That's right. And uh, you started off in England playing the harmonica, I believe. I did, yes, indeed. Now, what, was the, what was the spark that really started that uh, well, uh, uh, inclination to play that? Love Me Do, the Beatles. Really? Yeah. Love Me Do. So you joined, were you in the Mersey Beat sort of thing? You, oh, I was you probably a little bit too young for that. I wasn't allowed young. to have the hair. How, how old were you then? Um, <laughs> well, I was probably about 11 or 12 then, I think. 11 or 12. So yeah. you were suck, blow, suck, blow and all that. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, appropriately enough, uh, Love Me Do, I think, celebrating its 50th anniversary it this is, year. It is, yeah. So, so we, that was, we that know was you're around about 60 then. Mm, yep. Okay. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. that <laughs> all right. But anyway, it's great to have you here. Thank you very much. And I love the history of what people, how you all got started and yeah. stuff you know and did you play in bands in England yes I, but I played in sort of folk more folk bands you know guitar and heart yeah, and more uh, Bob Dylan harmonies and that sort of yeah that type of thing you went so down on. there with the yeah. harmonica and that's great more suck, yep. blow, and so I played a little bit of guitar as well but I'm not yeah. good enough to to play with these guys I've got to say you're a great singer thank you great singer I really enjoyed your voice uh, singing that river of dreams that that, that song off the yeah, CD you song. know um, you do that wonderfully well and uh, the harmonica is perfect. You're not too over the top. It's mm. perfect. I just love the band. You know, I've been, I'm I'm the biggest fan you've got. Oh, we know you, are, Shane. Yeah, no, no, and it's great. Uh, it's, a, it's a good little band. Uh, you know, we all really yeah. enjoy ourselves. We're very sort of comfortable together. It's great. So, did you when you got over 
here to New Zealand and lived in Auckland, uh, this is what, five years ago, six years ago? Oh, uh, coming, coming up to eight now, yep. yeah. Eight mm, years, yeah. so eight years ago you got here and you just broke your way into the music scene? Well, my wife said to me after about six months, I can tell you're bored at home and I don't want to hear your guitar get anymore. Get out of the house. Yeah, get out of the house, <laughs> that's right. And uh, so yeah, I just put uh, put my name out on one of those websites and uh, I got contacted and as a really as a harmonica player more than anything, yeah. and first, first uh, rehearsal, they said, well, you're singing. Well, there's so many um, harmonica players around uh, at the Good moment. Yeah. It really has uh, resurgence, mm. like I say, the blues. Mm. And uh, But you are a great vocalist as well. Believe okay. me, you are. I don't know. Have you just started singing in the last few years? Oh, no, not really. But I've tended to sing softer stuff. I've had to kind of you yeah. know, be a bit more growly for the blues. Yeah, well, mm. I'm not be doing a great job of it. You keep growling. <laughs> it's great having you. <laughs> Look, really enjoyed your company. Thanks, Shane. Great, and uh, we look forward to more Black Dog. Dreams of breeze and sunny days, dreams of skies of blue. Dreams I have of a perfect man, and dreams I have of you. Dreams I have of the sweetest note, sing like the song of song. Words that bend down, bend in thoughts of back and do no wrong. Dream I have the greatest dream. sponsors yep music planet there's nine stores and outlets around the countryside one of the best music shops I've ever been to when I go in there for a cup of coffee I'm in there till four o'clock in the afternoon and I get there at eight in the morning I'm telling you I can't get out of the place pianos guitars everything I need now you I believe you go there for your harmonicas I do indeed yes and you've got a special one that you talk about yeah I like to play the Hona uh, Pro Harp the one I is my favourite. Oh, no yeah. Now that's actually expensive, isn't it? Oh, they're a bit at the top end, I guess, but uh, not all harmonica players would agree with you. They spend a lot more money than that, but Music Planet's a great place to, to buy them. Mm. Say it again. Music Planet. a great place to buy them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Correct. And I like the, I like the uh, online service too, so it's just great. So I can just go on my yeah. computer and order up what I need, and it's there real quick. It's great. Yeah. Great mm. people to do all this. Mm, absolutely. Remember that. Music Planet, the shop. Black Dog, wonderful music. I love the blues. Yes, well, look, I've got a very special guest now. This lovely lady, loved by all of New Zealand, I'm sure, and a very dear friend. I love her to death. <laughs> the lovely Suzanne Lynch. Welcome, Susie. Oh, hi, Shane. How are you? Lovely to see head. you. Oh, I can't let go. <laughs> oh, okay. It's lovely to have you, Susie. Um, Susie, you've been really, really busy just lately. 
with a I movie indeed. soundtrack mm. from a movie that I just love. I know, and it came as a surprise to me. Yeah. <laughs> I was invited for a coffee by the producer just to talk about, just to see if I could find some songs from that era, 1965, yeah. 64, uh, about the time that Radio Haraka was just starting. Right. And uh, so I, I looked and we found a lot of old songs. Grant Galanders, who was a great help actually. Yeah. He's a great historian of all that kind he of music. He loves writing all that stuff. Oh, he does. Yeah, he does. And he found me some great tracks, but nothing kind of fitted just right into the movie. Yeah. So, me being me, I decided, <laughs> oh, well, I'll write some. So I did. And um, yeah, you did. then I rang all my friends, of which Shane was one. And Luckily. yes, and uh, he sang a great song actually. I thought it came up fantastic. I love the song, and your son Andy played drums, bass, guitar, he and did. everything he played, else on it. He played everything, yeah. Um, he was amazing. Uh, and of course, he plays in a group called The Feelers. But we'll, we, we're digressing again. But um, I'm taking you away from the station of Three this is it, Mile this is it, this Limit. Is it. Three Mile Limit, Three mile CD limit. out now. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> so we finished all the songs. We wrote sort of 10 seconds, 20 seconds of each song. Yeah for the movie and then of course we had to finish each song as a whole song because I thought it'd be a great idea for New Zealanders to have a little exactly. something to remember um, of Radio Hauraki. So there's a few songs that were played there a lot, one by the Surfires who later became the rumour of course. And our own Gerard Smith. Our own Gerard there, Smith, Smith and Shade. And Jacques mm -hmm. and all the boys. And uh, Ross Heinemann who's yeah. married to my sister Judy. Oh, yes. <laughs> so uh, that was fantastic. So we, you know, got got the Surfire song on there, which mm. was played a lot by Radio Hurricane. And songs. it's a real sunny song. It is. And that's what the movie was I all about. I can't wait for summertime. You know. It's great. Well, at that time, I mean, the chicks were the same. The Hucklebuck, everything was up and happy. It was. The and music was, was happy and fun, wasn't and, it? And the Radio Hurricane just added to the whole thing. They released that happiness. They did. They got it on the air. They did. You know, and we. And we sucked it up in the droves. It was fantastic. Yeah. We were all at the town hall at that meeting when they yeah. were trying to get all their license, all fighting right. for Fight Radio Haraki yeah. guys, Whole good guys. High. Yeah, so it was yeah. something close to my heart, you know, that yeah. to help out with this movie. It was, it was. something really nice to and do. And they helped us local artists once they established themselves. They did? They did everything they could. They played all New Zealand music. Any, yeah, I bought a new record, I went straight to Radio Haraki and they put it on the air without mm. even having it programmed or anything. I know, it was like, wonderful. You got your new record, And they, they were our friends, weren't they, Shane? And they were friends, you know, they and were friends, we socialised yeah. with them. Yeah. It was lovely that the radio stations, the artists, everybody, we were all one, you know. Everyone mm. was in the same business, entertainment, and getting those music and all the exactly. lovely records out there. Exactly. Mm. And, and you did a great job. I mean, with this movie, I have to say, when I sat there, I, I got quite emotional. And I've, your voice has never sounded so good. Thank you. You're sounding better than ever. <laughs> well, I love. I think it's all the teaching I'm doing at the moment. It actually, it must be. I teach a lot of pupils right now, yeah. and um, I guess I'm, in some way, learning myself as I go too. And can I just mention you? You actually, your pupils, they put on concerts as well. You have they them do. out there doing it. So you're nice passing teacher. on the knowledge. Good on you, Susie. Yeah, passing Susie, on what I've learned over the years. Three Mile Limit. I hope it's going to be a huge hit because I've got. Shane, I even rang my sister Judy, and she <laughs> sang one of these songs. So there's a new Chicks song, a new Shane yeah, song. Yeah, of course, there's Chicks, the Shane, Ray Wolf. They're all on there. The mods by Kevin the record, Three Mile Limit, the soundtrack. Okay, <laughs> after you've seen the movie. Anyway, lovely to have you, love. Thank you. You got a heart of gold, my oh, love. I will tell you what, what a cue. The next song, Heart of Gold, Black Dog. Bye. 
I love that, Susie. I love oh. it. I love the blues, Shane. That's, you love the blues? That was fantastic. So do I. <laughs> anyway, I won't cry tonight because, Susie, no, tonight. you had dinner at my house the other evening. All about board. All about board. Lovely dinner. And we got chatting about the old days and the stories that we used to, uh, about times we had on the road. Now, Susie told me some wonderful stories. <laughs> uh oh. And, 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 <laughs> As a chick, she was only 15, 16 years old, 17 years old, 13, through that era, 14, and she started eight. at 13. <laughs> exactly. I don't know how, exactly how old you were that's when right, you toured with right. people like The Pretty Things and PJ Proby and Sandy Shaw, all these wonderful superstar acts of that era in the 60s. Now, tell me, what was PJ Proby really like? <laughs> PJ Proby, well, he was very char charismatic, actually. Oh, yeah, the women loved him. But very strange. I remember I was only about 14, I suppose, and okay. I thought it very, very strange that he would sit in the back of the bus cutting up raw steak and eating raw steak in the back mm. of the bus. And every every town we came to, we had to stop at a butcher so he could buy some steak. Steak tartare. Yeah. He was an addict? We'd never heard it? of it in those days. No, I of was course horrified. Not. Just an animal would eat yeah, raw meat. Yeah, I just meat. thought, yeah. what? What is he doing? Sir? Well, he was a bit of an animal, I believe. He was I mean, a bit I of an animal. I heard some other yeah. stories, which I can't split repeat. Split his trousers every night, Shane. Oh. Which, I, well, I, I was at one show, and I remember he split his trousers, and he put a pair, big pair of white overalls on, and said, "Am I dirty? Am I dirty? They keep saying I'm dirty. I split in my pants," <laughs> and everyone went, "No." All the young oh, girls. I remember being this. slightly scared of him actually, because he was a bit sort of weird. Yeah. You know. Yeah, a real, powerful presence. A, a real powerful presence. And then yeah. the raw meat in the back of the bus, that finished me off. No, that's pretty right strange. Like, like taking the lion on tour. I was a bit young it? to handle all that <laughs> then, yes, absolutely. And what about the pretty things? Now, you had some pretty weird es well, escapes. Well, they were riotous, actually, the pretty yeah. things. Someone even wrote a book about the pretty things. Yeah. And it was my first ever live tour, tour okay. with Sandy Shaw and the pretty things. And yeah. Judy and I used to do Sandy Shaw's BVs as well. Yeah and uh, do our own little act. And of course, my mother, because I was only 14 and Judy was 16, she came along as the chaperone. And my mother, who was the most innocent person on the planet, Poor was totally taken with these guys because they were, they all loved her, you know, she yeah. was so innocent. And of course, we'd always sit after the shows reading our Women's Weekly, yeah. as they all went out <laughs> to party. And uh, I remember quite a few things. My mother had one of those sort of pillbox leopard skin hats. Yes. And Honestly, Viv Prince, the drummer. Yes, he was the craziest. He of the was whole the crazy band. one, the crazy drummer. He asked my mother. Well, he, I don't think he even asked her. Just he just took, took her hat, <laughs> and he wore it for the whole tour. And every photograph had this leopard this skin little leopard hat. skin yeah. hat. I remember that leopard skin because I saw them it just down my street. Whole thing. Yeah, um, I, I met them when they were here because they used 
I was in the pleasers and they used our amplifiers the Jants and amplifiers and they came down did you ever so get them we, back? we went to <laughs> I went to a motel just in Parnell and had a party with them and they broke into the kitchen in that motel oh, and bad. stole all the sausages out of the fridge and then th proceeded to throw them at each other the whole street was covered in that Parnell <laughs> rise was covered in sausages and they used to collect street signs that was their other thing, other thing. so the back of the bus the back seat of the bus yeah. was piling up with street signs and every morning oh. they'd arrive back with yet another street sign Were they been up all night. And my mother said to me at the end of a 10-day tour, oh, I just love those boys, aren't they? So full of energy, <laughs> I don't know where they get it from. They never slept the whole time. Yes, you see the drugs they're taking. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. Oh, wonderful. But your mother had a good time anyway. She had a great that time. Was oh, they loved time. her and she just thought they were the loveliest and your mum, boys. your mum was chaperoning you on the tour, looking she after was. you and... Um, and she Judy, was there when the Prince handed me the drumsticks because he'd wow. set the curtains on fire. Yes, exactly. And in, someone in was chasing him around in Invercargill, so I played drums for the pretty things. Wow. Oh, it was fantastic fun. Oh, really. beautiful. Weren't they wonderful kid times? Having fun. Yeah, you could get away with it then. You, you could. didn't it was harm innocent. anyone too bad. Innocent ish you know? fun, yeah. yeah. It was. Innocent fun. Yeah. It was just complete blind drunk, basically. <laughs> and that was it. They all got stoned and went mad. I know they didn't sleep. My, my but, mother was uh, so impressed by that. These boys you, are so lovely with so much You energy. were always a good girl, Sue. I was. And yeah. I'm not going to ruin your reputation. <laughs> she is a lovely good girl. And it's a real pleasure having you here, darling. Thanks, darling. And I think you've got to Love come back here soon and tell me some more stories on the road. Okay. I love you. <laughs> so thanks, darling. Yeah. Hey, thanks to Black Dog and the lovely Suzanne Lynch, our special guest this evening. And don't forget, we'll be seeing you at the CG Club in Remuera in Ohinirao Street, 7.30 p.m. Friday night to rock the planet and someone who has really rocked the planet this week, Neil Young, to rock us out. Good night.